the farthest we reached out with our system was 1,200 yards with the XS1. Right. Now this one will reach out to 1,800 yards, which is just over a mile, and it'll it'll track targets uh, moving up to 30 miles an hour as opposed to 10. Wow. Um, shooters of any skill level. We're talking about this as a 50 cal, but extremely precise. <clears throat> you know, we always get you know asked. How do you put this technology on a 50 cal? Well, that's not really a precision rifle. Right. Um, so this will allow us to, to reach those kind of distances that 50 cal does. Is this 338? It's a 338 TP. It's not a 338. We're actually um, coming out with our own round, uh, oh, a tracking really? point round. Yeah. Right. This is intended to evolve into a shipping product. This this design, or is this more of a concept? It's going to closely resemble this, and it will be a shipping product. Okay. Yeah. And I believe we're going to start shipping those, or we want to start. Um, in 2015 at some point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's heavy. This is very heavy. Is this actually, I mean, is this, is this shootable or is this not shootable? It's, it's it not shootable. We're gonna be able to securely stream voice and video via the internet. If I'm the, the guy at home who's gonna watch on the internet, do I go to like a tracking point website? You guys have it kind of like a gateway where I would there's log gonna in? Be, there's an app. Okay. Um, so it's gonna look basically like this. You know, in the past where we've been able to stream video right there through that Wi-Fi right. server, that's cool. But now really being able to share that across the globe, that's really what we wanna to, want to do. One of the things um, that we're gonna offer now moving into 2015 is um, we've got the new mile maker, and then we have a 300 Win Mag and a 308 bolt action gun, and we're calling those the mountain guns mountain because they're on a new chassis, they're lighter, and we've got that um, the scope that's on the semi-automatic now on the bolt action guns. And the XS1 will still be available, but the, um, the XS2, uh, 3, and 4 are going away. But then we'll also have a, um, a really lightweight varmint gun um, chambered in 260 rim. And, huh, okay. And that's going to come in at that same introductory price that the 5.56 is right now, the 74.95. I've heard that there may be some additional changes coming at some point in the software where you guys are potentially looking at using geo-targeting and geo-tagging to safe or unsafe the gun based on like the weapon's location and stuff like that. Is there anything you can talk about about that? Well, I think a lot of that's synonymous with gun control and, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, we are strong supporters of the Second Amendment. We don't have any designs on, on disabling or, or disarming any, any of okay. our systems. So. Okay. The heads-up display design had shifted from the original scope to the AR scope. Is that is that like the new way, and that's going to be backported to the to the bigger scopes? We actually shifted back to the original oh, okay. display screen. So yeah. So if you were to see in the areas or in the um, Simonim X right now, it looks like it did originally. In okay. The any negative feedback from customers or anything? Is there anything that you hear from people about the weapons that they want changed or different that you guys are that you guys are looking to? roll back into future versions? No, not not anything negative. Um, you know, people, you know, everybody's obviously, you know, interested, are you gonna have night vision or can we shoot this suppress? Are you gonna have night vision? <laughs> yeah. Can that's we shoot it suppressed? Yeah, that, that's something that, who knows, it's not um, really being talked about in our roadmap right now, but, but who knows what we're gonna be talking about next year.